Hello, morning everyone. So my birthday last week, uh, it's taken me this long. All of this stuff has been in a bag waiting for me um, to make a video. So yeah, let's get on with it. I actually went to go and see Downton Abbey um, at the cinema. I was so excited. And then afterwards, I had some birthday money and I popped into Hobbycraft and TK Maxx and I found some bits and pieces. I had a little bit of a splurge. I saw this large stamp and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think this was this was eight pounds and it had twenty percent off, something like that. So yeah, forgive me with the prices because some of this stuff was discounted and some of it, yeah, some of it was on sale and some of it was just discounted. That's it. So yeah, so that's the first thing I got. So I thought that would be good for stamping and doing some watercolors. I also, let me move that out of the way, I also picked up some of these single sheets. These were between 25p to 50p in my local store. It's reasons I picked up this one. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, to, and also this is the other side of it. Um, I bought quite a few papers because they had quite a few that I actually liked. So just to quicken up the process, I'm just going to flick through it and um, give you a look at both sides as quickly as I can. I just love this one because it just reminded me of traveling. I've been really into making traveler's notebooks. So I'll be back on to show you um, some of the ones that I've been making um, because like over the last few months, I didn't have a lot of time, especially just before Bubba was born to do, well actually I did a bit of crafting, but since I haven't done a lot of crafting, as much as I would have liked so yeah there are some repeats um, in the in the kit as well so this is a repeat should have put them together shouldn't I repeat. Okay. and I really love this one as well I think it's the colors so yeah some of them I bought two or three of because I really liked either one side or the other side so and this is i think this is the last one and i thought that would be good to cut apart and the other side's just some pink dots up uh, let's just do the stuff from hobbycraft first this amy tangerine sticker book let's have a look at the back first those are the ones that you get pretty cool it has some foiling um, I just really like it and I'm getting more into using stickers and things like that so I thought these ones were quite nice and I don't know if it's picking up but they are um, they like some of them look hand painted like with watercolors which I thought was pretty cool um, in a lot of the um, sort of like planner bits and pieces like those months and and things like that banners Days of the week, I think that will come in very handy. And things like that. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And I think I ended up getting it for five pounds something. So I think that's worth it. You get a whole load of stickers. I think it's like 30 stickers. So yeah, that was cool. I was on a separate occasion. Um, I popped in on the weekend and they had this um, carousel book. It was on sale, so I'm assuming it's been out for a while. You've probably already seen it. Um, but it was um, reduced to £8 in my store. And do you know what? I overlooked, I looked at it and I thought, nah, I don't think I need another paper pack. But then I looked at it again and I thought, no, actually, I quite like it. And um, yeah, it was quite interesting patterns and it had some gold sparkly paper i don't know but for me this looked like um butlins <laughs> it reminds me of butlins the tents so and um, we do go butlins um i really like this page this page i really like sorry about the sun it's because it's early. well it's not that early but where i live as the sun's coming across it makes oh that's nice it makes a shadow so yeah i thought that was pretty cool so that's foil, foil. I don't know if you can pick that up. Well, not foil, actually, it's glitter. But I really like this, actually. The more I looked at it, the more I loved the papers in it. They did have the Shamil, I think it's Glitter Girl, book. And that was £12 on sale. 
um, but I just wasn't sure about it. It had quite a few plain papers in the back, and uh, yeah, maybe if I go back and it's there, I will have another look and probably love it and end up getting it. And they also had this one, whoops, called um, by Pink Paisley, Pick Me Up, and I really like the ones in this. They did have another little book. Um, I can't remember what it was, but I put it back. This was £3.50 on sale. And I just like some of the little designs that were in this one as well. And again, it had the gold foil in. I think that... Sorry. I think there was one... Yeah, I like this one. It's cut apart. I think that was really cool. Um, and there's a few in here that really sold it for me. So, yeah, I think we're repeating now. Yeah. So there was that one. £3.50, 36 sheets. I think that was well worth it. Bargain. And then, yeah, then I popped into TK Maxx. Sorry about that. And they had the Spectrum Noir. And I thought this was a bargain. The Glitter Sparkle brushes. They were $7.99. Well, RRP $12.99, you can see there. Then it was... They were selling it for seven ninety nine, and they had it reduced for four pounds. And I thought, brilliant! You're coming home with me. So saw these acrylic paint markers in TK Maxx. As you can see, it was three ninety nine. Um, they also had the full pack with um the rainbow colours, so red, blue, green, etc., etc. But I just picked up the gold and the silver. Um, I think they had these in Hobbycraft for four pounds, so it wasn't really much of a saving. I don't know if in Hobbycraft. That was a um, deal or the normal price, but I know it was £4.99. 